five, four, three, two, one. We know what it is to have bad shoes, and we know what it is to have good shoes, huh? And we know the difference. The shoes that God would give us today is the gospel of peace. The good news of Jesus that brings this shalom, this peace of body, soul, mind, and spirit. And he says, ready yourself every day by putting this on. You see, God would tell us a different story than we think of most of the time. He would tell us how we were created to be whole and complete in Him. And how the reason we feel unsettled the reason we feel unfulfilled, the reason we feel empty sometimes, the reason we're frustrated, the reason that we put on anger and fear and let that drive us, the reason that we let the idea of fame and fortune and sandcastles drive us and then are disappointed when we get those things and they're like sand going through our fingers at the seashore. The reason for all of that is we were created finally to be fulfilled only in relationship with God. And sin finally is walking away from that relationship. Sin finally is filling that relationship with all kinds of other things. Augustine said once, but apart from God, we're always searching and never finding. That's what sin does to us. And yet we let that direct us in our days. God's got something better for you and me. He says, let my gospel of peace direct your days. The good news that my Son came, that you might be fulfilled. The good news that my Son took that aloneness upon Himself and the cross, that He was forsaken of God in your place. My God, my God, why hast Thou forsaken me? That we might always know we're never alone, that we are forgiven and loved. Right now, God's Spirit is touching your heart with this reality that Jesus came for you. He came to restore that relationship that you might know this peace that goes beyond all human understanding. You might know this shalom peace of body, soul, mind, and spirit. That you might know the wonderful existence of putting on this peace of Jesus every day like you put on your shoes and letting this wonderful peace of the cross drive your life to every day hear the words of Jesus spoken over you when you were baptized this is my beloved son this is my beloved daughter to every day know that God himself smiles down upon you and loves you now, you're never alone because you're his child. To know that you live and move and have your being within his loving care for you. The temptation is to put something else on, to let something else drive our lives. The shoes just give us blisters. They bloody up our feet, they wear out. They're counterfeit. No last. The shoes that Jesus gives you, his peace in the cross, is meant to last every day, to be worn every day, and finally to stretch through eternity. He says, put on this peace and share this peace.
the submission he gives us. Husbands, share it with your wives. Wives, share it with your husbands. Parents, share it with your children. Children, share it with your parents. Share it with those folks you go to school with, those folks you work with, the folks across the street. In every relationship of our lives, be driven by the peace of Jesus that you put on every day, just like you put on your shoes. God's Spirit right now is touching your heart with His peace. He's saying it's true. And, and we're saying, yeah, but can it be true for me? Can I put it on every day? In His grace, He's saying, yes. My Spirit will empower you every day to turn away from, from being driven by anything else that will leave you bloody being driven in life, rather, by the peace of the cross and the empty tomb and the presence of the Savior and who we are and the lives we live. Amen. Now may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in true faith for life never ending. Amen.